looking at manufacturing cycle efficiency and some of the related concepts with these questions. First question asks for throughput time. That's going to be your process time, which is 1.3, plus your inspection time, 3 tenths of an hour. Moving time, 0.7, so I guess this is days, not hours. And then your queue time is 7.8 days. So just the length of time that these products spend as they are going through the manufacturing cycle. So if we add this up, here we have 1, 2.3, plus 7.8. We've got a throughput time of 10.1 days. Now the question about manufacturing cycle efficiency is to basically say, how much of that 10.1 days was value added? Okay, so this product spends 10.1 days in, in throughput, and out of all of that, only processing time of 1.3 days adds value. Everything else in this in this formula really doesn't do anything to make the product better. I mean, inspection, you would certainly avoid that if you could. Mo moving, that's wasted effort and time. Avoid it if you can. The the queue time, that's just kind of idle time. So the only time that really adds any value to the product is the 1.3 days. So we can look at this and we can say the manufacturing cycle efficiency is really 13%, which is pretty putrid, really. So what percentage of the production time is spent on non-value added activities? Well, that would be 87%. A lot of room for improvement at this company. Now, finally, the, uh, the delivery cycle time is taking not only the, um, uh, the whole throughput time, which will start with 10.1 days, but on top of that, we're going to add the wait time. Okay, Wait time was 9.7 days. Put that on top here. And we get to an entire delivery cycle time of 19.8 days. So what that's really getting at is from the date that the customer places the order to the date when we ship the final goods is taking almost 20 days for this company. And oh, by the way, of those 20 days, about 10 of them are in the some component of the manufacturing process. And of those 10 days, only 1.3 add value. So this is a class, classic textbook example where there's lots of room for improvement. Hopefully the businesses that you guys encounter when you graduate will, will look much better than these.